Hello everybody, welcome back to Rich's Revolution. Now in this video we're going to be going over my first ever raid. This is really great because you go for a processing game where there's loads of different things that get unlocked and raids are the good opportunity for you to pick up some good stuff. In particular, special specialization resources. So it's an extra layer to how you build your character outwards from a strength, power, perspective. So specializations are something to look out for, but you need the materials from doing raids. You want to get a limited opportunity to get the rewards each day because uh, hey, the developers are not going to give you a chance like every single day unless you decide to recharge, which you can do on raids. So let's go over the, I think it's Fenris raid. And here we go. So first of all, you may be wondering, like, look, I'm not, I'm not skipping the cutscenes. Some people do, some people don't uh, skip the cutscenes. So, uh, so, you know, they're, they're fun, they're funky. Some people skip them, some people don't. Uh, that's just the, the joy sometimes. Some people will do it. Some people auto-fight, in particular, in raids. Uh, and there are three levels of difficulty. There's extreme. There's the normal, there's the, which I think is called Challenger, the extreme, and then ultimate or extreme. I think it's ultimate, then extreme. And they're all different based on your power level. I would say anybody that's level 70 and below as it's like, I don't know, I think it's 170 to 224k for power rating. I would say that if you get a group of four, you are going to do this very comfortably. So you may want to do a little bit higher possibly, but I, I personally would say go lower each time until you get to say level 100 and then start challenging yourself because it's going to be a case that you may not really get it. And a lot of people are a little bit toxic at times when it comes to people's performances. So stick with lower as you're building your hero upwards and then kind of look for, you know, when you're reaching level 95 to 100 there and you've built your power level, start kind of going into the more kind of difficult ones. So this is just the normal box standard one that's just easy to go. And that's just my top tip there. But just talking about this fight, Fenris is one of the most easiest ones because he does more of this kind of like... Uh, same kind of thing as most other like bosses, raid bosses, jumping up, jumping down, get out of the way, grows big, goes invincible, which you can see right here. And then he starts darting and running. So there's the big kind of bump there. And then he'll start darting and running around. So it's actually pretty easy to kind of keep your distance and also be quite cunning. He does that throw um, a mob at you, which is like a wolf mob, which is still really cool uh, to kind of like fight off, off against that. But uh, yeah, this is, um, this is actually a pretty doable thing as long as you've got a team of four and as long as you keep your distance when you're meant to and dodge. I would say watch out. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm an over dodger and I try to get myself distance because I just find at times the dodging system, even though it sometimes seems to be good, isn't always clear cut when going up against bosses and that's what you're going to see very shortly in some other videos when I'm taking on Laufey whilst I, why I'm I'm very cagey and I create a lot of distance but yeah those those there's the mob coming down so if you haven't faced stuff against Fenris or you want um just a, a little bit more of a um you know look at what's going on this is a good opportunity right here and you can see, <laughs> you see it just it just darts everywhere dodge out of the way um which was good you know, sometimes, as I said, it's not great. And you just pile in on uh, on Fenris, especially he darts around. Because he just like goes, you're like, where'd you go? He's like, oh, he's gone there. Like, okay, where, where, where's he going to appear next? Uh, there. You get plenty of time to move away. And as I said, like, over dodging is good and bad. Like, there, um, this is the thing that now, distance. I kind of like double dodge to a degree but then that's the thing you've got to keep your distance still as you know just seen there and it's just going to be a very much easy finish off especially because it doesn't really do like a huge amount and that's why a lot of people have said that they've soloed this because it um, it just kind of feels like this is a lot more easy to do which is great it's when you come to the other ones like King Tron, King Tron and some of the other more harder ones that it just becomes a little bit more trickier to do and man I just like picking up the good stuff from it uh, there's nothing you can have a look at the stats if you want to and i think i chose not to like check it out this time but that's stuff that you need um if that person didn't get any rewards at that red dog so i don't know what happened there something must have happened uh, but yeah uh that's just a little bit of a go over of that raid system as it is is uh it's quite enjoyable it's just a case that you gotta you gotta be on it and you've got to make sure you make the right decisions on the movements you face off against a lot of these bosses these raid bosses as you go through so yeah uh do watch out for it do be careful i would say if you fall off against vision watch out for that i'm going to be doing a vision breakdown at some point but uh yeah if you face off against these it's not going to be so much of a problem 
on that's it that's that's the video thank you very much for watching make sure to check out some of the other content posted on screen right now i should be at some point this week trying to gauge from uh, the community the riches revolution community what videos you'd like to see coming up especially with a release i'm going to be doing a new player's guide very very soon and a lot of kind of like in-depth guide content so look out for that so make sure to support the channel share it with a friend and uh, hopefully see you uh, in game very soon have a good one Bye bye